Let's open online Python compiler. Remove the text and start writing with a comment. Hashtag Ohm's Law. So today a program will work on the principles of Ohm's Law. That is V is equals to I R. So let's start writing a program. I write the first statement. Print. Enter 1 to calculate voltage. So the Ohm's Law is made up of voltage, current and resistance. So similarly I will copy the statement for the other two. 3 for current, 2 for resistance and 4 so that person can exit from this program to exit. Now num, this is my input statement, int is a data type so bracket input, bracket inverted commas, enter number from 1 to 4 so that's a required prompt that I have to give to the user. Now if the num is equals to one. So I'm checking with double equals to sign print bracket start. We just telling the person that we're calculating voltage. Now let's input the current and resistance. So I is equals to float as I want decimal values also. Bracket input bracket enter current. Now input statement for resistance. So R is equals to float bracket input bracket enter resistance and then V is equals to IR. This is the Ohm's law. Now let's print the answer. So print bracket start voltage is equals to out of the inverted commas comma V comma I want to print the unit also so it's voltage or capital V. Now let's copy this and paste it for the current and resistance so this time we are calculating resistance make the further changes now resistance is equals to v upon i now let's print resistance is equals to r and its unit is ohm so i'm just copy the symbol and paste it and do the same for current make it 3, make it current and I'm going to input resistance and voltage and current is equals to means I is equals to V upon R. Now let's print it current I instead of R and current's unit is ampere so capital A. Let's make the if statement the do if statements LF. LF if num is equals to 4 so double equals to 4 checking print program end so I'll put it in a double inverted commas now else if number is not equals to 1 2 3 or 4 then print invalid input now let's try running it so you can see the print statements. So let's enter 1, current 230 and resistance is 5. So the unit is also displayed with the answer. Now let's enter maybe 3, resistance is 112 and 456, that's 38 amperes. Now let's check the program for the checks that we have put and it works.